So now continuing with the side control flow or submission flow, we've already hit a couple. We go out to the Fujiwara armbar, we went back, we hit the razor lock. Straight off the razor lock, if that starts to fail, sometimes people will hook around your shoulder or they'll go around your neck. We're gonna do a right to the spin armbar, all right? So the key is don't put both feet over and keep your knees tight. That's the key to making the spin arm bar work and staying tight and low, low. So watch, I'm gonna go uh, where we left off, which was in the razor lock, all right? So kind of where we went to, right? Should we move back? Oh uh, uh, yeah, move back a little bit. Oh, right, 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 right. So we kind of ended here. And sometimes like he'll bend his arm behind me a little bit. And I get to this position, look, I'm gonna push his head down and I'm gonna step oh, here and I'm gonna spin and I'm gonna hit this. Now, here's what's important, okay? See where my foot ended up? Under his shoulder here? That's gonna be the key. So I'm gonna do it one more time without holding his arm so you see my foot, right? So when I have him on his side here and I step here, this foot is important. So when I spin, look where it goes here and then it points here. So when I start to pull that arm back here, this is what I want. I wanna make sure that my foot is hooked around his shoulder. And that's a, that's a big thing. I, I don't remember who I learned it from, but it was about eight or nine years ago. Uh, I went to like a little private training thing with a bunch of people one, day, uh, one night, and uh, this dude showed this. And I started using it, and I think it's just jackpot. But you'll find that not only is this gonna stop him from rolling toward me, right, because it's like a uh, wheel chuck, it's gonna stop him from doing the hitchhiker escape because my foot's gonna stop his head from coming underneath here, boom, okay? So that's a big part, and every time I talk about the armbar, this part is something I really focus on right here, there's a giant detail that will really help. So sometimes when you're fighting for that, that thumb to be the right way when you're trying to submit somebody, once they get this this way and they start running out, you could have lost it, but this foot will give you a couple seconds to try to get that thumb back to where it needs to go. And we'll talk about where the thumb goes uh, as well. So, so I had that razor lock, and he either bends it or he's trying. I put this here. I push his head to the floor, whatever. I want. And I put this here, and I spin tight. Boom! My foot is under his shoulder, and I immediately hug this to his wrist. Now, I come back and I finish it like a regular arm bar. What the difference is is. My heels are gonna to come to my butt as I lay back, and I'm gonna pinch my knees as hard as I can, literally trying to squeeze his arm and, and crush it with my knees, right? So as I come back and I get here, and I always tell my students, hug it like you love it. That's what our coach told us here, and I lay back. But one key that I, I also think is just jackpot, when you have the arm bar, we're always taught to have the thumb facing this way or facing up, but even, like, I, I, I don't even say this all the time, but we're not very flexible people arm-wise. But if I hold his thumb facing up, he can still go in a circle to his knees right here, and I can still have his thumb in position. So our coach, Eric Paulson, always tells us, point your thumb, their thumb, to the feet. Now, when he tries to run out, he gets nowhere, and I pop his arm, <laughs> right? But this is the key, this is another key. So when you match that up, with this underneath, and you get here, and you turn that thumb down, and you pinch right here, and he tries to run out. He's hitting my foot with his head, and his arm is already twisted. Now, if I twist it this way, he can run out as far as he wants to go. But, boom, thumb points to the feet. I don't lose where the arm breaks, like I do if the arm goes this way, then this bends, but this breaks this way, this breaks this way, this breaks this way, right? So. Pointing the thumb to the feet doesn't change where the break happens or the angle of the break. So that's where I want to go. So I hug it, and then if I need to fight for that position, boom, I crush down this way. I turn that thumb to their feet. I pinch. I suck my heels in, and I catch that arm bar. All right? So just a couple little keys. So real quick, one more time, just because. All right? So I went here. I started going for this. He started fighting, and I pushed down. I spin, now look, I get here, and I come to here, and if I need to, I grab. Everything is involved. 
I'm turning this, my elbows are in, tighter my elbows are to my body, the stronger I, I am. I turn his thumb down, I pinch, I suck my heels in, and I get that straight arm bar. All right? So off that razor lock, they start giving you a little bit of fight, bending that arm, take the spin arm bar. We call it the short arm bar on that side. Foot under the shoulder, thumb faces the feet, pinch your knees as tight as possible, suck your heels to your butt. Cool? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button.